Hi. This is Bianca from spinatmädchen.com from Germany. Hi, <laughs> so nice to you. Such a pleasure to meet you. And first of all, thank you for your time and thank you so much for turning red. Um, this movie went really went straight into my heart for so many reasons. Um, well, Domi, we already have heard and read that turning red is based on some of your memories and experiences. Is there a certain scene where you say, okay, that's so me? <laughs> In which scene do you recognize yourself the most? Oh, man, definitely when May uh, goes under her bed and draws in her secret sketchbook. That That is 100% <laughs> me. Uh, was me is probably still me um and uh it, I was just so uh, excited to like put that on the screen because you don't <laughs> see that a lot like that uh, sweaty passionate nerd girl energy as she goes down this drawing spiral uh and gets interrupted by her mom it's just so funny and and uh, so specific and and just brings me back to being that time <laughs> yeah so so pixar usually uh, stands for films that are rather timeless when it comes down to the particular time in which the story has been set but terminating red is dated exactly to the year 2002 so why exactly 2002 uh i mean just for one reason because that was when i was 13 but also uh we said it in the early 2000s because yeah. it's just such a nostalgic and fun era to bring to life on the big screen. Like the culture and the fashion and the mm -hmm. music um, was like boy bands was just like, like all huge, of that yeah. was huge and just really, really fun. But it was also before social media. And I right. think telling, I mean, it was nice because it was also telling a story in a time that allowed us to be both modern and also not have to kind of address like the impact of social media on on it on teens right and how kind of impactful it is so we it allowed us to keep it kind of contained to family and friends like the kind of very personal relationships that that may is struggling with and i think um had we had we kind of set it in present day or that it, it would have it would have kind of been a much more like different and and complicated yeah. story yeah it's almost more timeless because it's a period piece mm -hmm. uh from the early 2000s see what you did there yeah, yeah. it's good <laughs> so Domi Lindsay, I love these vibes. I love the late 90s, early 2000 vibes, especially when it comes down to music. I mean, Ludwig Göransson did such a great job. But what surprised me was the involvement of Billie Eilish and Phineas for the uh -huh. Four Town songs. Well, and they're not really famous for boy band style no, songs. No, yeah, no. Can you tell me more about this a bit unusual collaboration? Yeah, I think um, we when we decided we were going to do a, a boy band, you know, we we had a minute where we were like, oh, should we just approach kind of existing boy bands and see if they'd be willing to do something for us? And and we kind of dismissed that pretty quickly because we were like, why? I mean, if we have the ability to to come up with our own and create mm -hmm. our own kind of specific boy band for this movie, why not try? Mm -hmm. And um, and we at the time, my my kids are you know all teenagers and they were, you know, they listened to music constantly. And one, and one that was on constant uh, repeat was, were Billy's, Billy and Phineas's songs. And I think because it really spoke to them, they have this magic, you know, this ability, which is rare, but has this, where these 13, 14 year old, 12 year old kids are like these lyrics, this music, they as artists are speaking to me. I feel like they're writing these songs for me. And that is absolutely what we want to tap into for for May and her friends like that feeling of this is my these are these are this is my music mm -hmm. um and so we were like all right and we knew there were fans like we had, you know you everybody's read the stories about Billy like you know obsessing over Bieber and so also just being able to tap into what it is to be this like, super fan um and they were and we thought it was so weird that maybe they would do it because it was such a bizarre request. So they did and we pitched it to them and they were like, yeah, we're in. Like they loved the fact that it was such a weird and different thing for them to be doing and they totally delivered for us. Great. So what impressed me a lot about Turning Red, it's a perfect hybrid of Western animated film and Asian anime. You see a lot of style mixtures and also some references to anime magical girl classics like Sailor Moon. I got that reference, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and I think it must be quite challenging. So Lindsay, can you tell me more about what was the hardest aspect of the production design wise? Yeah, I think 
it was hard in the sense that it was Domi, I think, had obviously um, kind of a vision for what she wanted. I mean, nobody comes in with the specificity because it's like it's a collaborative process to come up with the specificity mm -hmm. of the vision. But I think coming in and being like, look, you wanted to push it. You wanted to stylize it. And I think the hard part initially is always being able to kind of engage every single department collectively to kind of figure out how, what that means for their yeah. department. Like, so even a camera, like, what does it mean for camera to be stylized? And, yeah. and um, not a lot of people like, like Lindsay, like didn't know anime. Like I, yeah, I didn't grow up watching Sailor. I was a little past, <laughs> a little older than that. <laughs> well, like everyone was so eager to like learn, like yeah. learn and to like try to push the style, but it was, uh, yeah, it, it took like some, like, like educational, like, like, presentations mm -hmm. of like, these are starry eyes and characters pop into the eyes when they see something yeah. they really, really like, or if they're like, you know, if they're pleading for something, you know, or like, like, oh, like if a character is really stressed out, like they're, they're like all these sweat drops kind of cover their face. And it was just about kind of educating some of the crew on some of that anime yeah. language, but everyone was, was, was yeah. down. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And, and my last question goes to, to both of you. If you have the chance to integrate Turning Red into Disneyland or a Disney park, a ride, a parade, an attraction, what would be look what would it look like? What it be? <laughs> what would oh, it be? Man. Oh, it'd be so cool if there was a, a roller coaster of, <laughs> okay. of the ups yeah. and downs of puberty. <laughs> <laughs> like you like literally he's like you go through and you're like get, you get like splashed with water and then you get hot yeah hot <laughs> and cold and and yeah and then like em embarrassing like you go through a tunnel everyone's pointing and laughing at you <laughs> and then you like climax as you like oh like uh, fight with your 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 mom at the boy band concert and yeah it's, <laughs> a, it's, it's a whole crazy roller coaster and you I just want to throw up in the middle yeah. of it too. <laughs> I just want to have a, a also like a four town live show like where you can like oh, yes. in the parades and stuff and have them be like oh, dancing yes. and doing a whole like live show for four town be super fun be amazing I mean Jordan Fisher can even do a cameo yeah he he already sang a Disney Parks song I know oh, yeah, Jordan Fisher after. I feel like he's our person to to yes, talk to to get it Jordan, get it to please. happen yeah definitely a good choice for a four town member i guess <laughs> yes thank you so much for your time i hope turning red uh, won't be the last project from you and i have to admit i watched turning red five times already five Yay! times what? i loved it so much it yeah. my it's my new comfort movie to, yes. to to look at i love coming of age movies i love this genre so much and seeing this from disney pixar is really opening up my my heart i love the characters is, is everything this this movie is so wholesome really oh, really i'm the biggest you. fan <laughs> yeah thank you so much I thank love you so much wow. and i will buy up all the merchandise coming oh, up yes so. yeah me yes too. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much and uh, have a great one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>